Hey there, friends. Welcome back to some more of The Longest Journey. We need to continue towards the evil wizard's castle. I think. The evil wizard's being evil. We gotta stop him. So, whatever we have to do to do that. Oh, well, speaking of which. That must be Roper Clax's castle. The whole gravity defying bit kind of gives it away. Nah, it could still be anybody's castle. Oh. Hello. Nice stonework, but not particularly realistic. Those berries look ripe and juicy, but my mom taught me never to judge a book by its cover. They're probably poisonous and almost certainly fattening. But I can take them. So let's take them. Uh-oh, I'm sinking. Now that was a bit scary. I could have lost my shoes. And I guess my life. Hmm. Oh, we can try and use, uh, what's his name? Crow. Bird. We can use bird. I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Anyway, I guess he's not around. Nuh uh, that marshy ground between me and the berries looks treacherous. I'll probably get stuck and drown. Um. Nope, the marshland's too dangerous to be wandering around in. Well, what about bird? Hey, bird! But now it works. <laughs> Slow falling. It's chilly out here. You should really be wearing a sweater, doll. You don't want to catch a cold, not with the fate of the known cosmos on your shoulders. I'm fine, thanks, Crow. What's going on with you? Keeping my eyes open, you know? Floating on the warm winds, doing that whole Hawkeye shtick? I'm getting pretty good at it, too. I spotted you from at least 100 yards away. Impressive. Yep. They don't call me... <laughs> the Lord of the Winds for nothing. I don't think they do. Do they really call you that? No, but soon, by the balance, they will. Now, what can I do for you, sweetheart? Are you telling me to give you that nickname? <laughs> what can I do you for? Uh, can you take these? Nope, the marshland's too dangerous to be wandering around in. Um. Oh, I gotta pick him up and then throw him at Crow, him. I need you to fly over there and get some of those berries for me. And Crow? Yes, ma'am. Don't eat the berries. No, ma'am. I pick him up and I chuck him over there like a football. It's gonna be like that coffee that the the coffee beans that the cats eat and then poop them out. That's what the bird's about to do. Shame, shame, Thanks, shame. Thanks, Crow. You got it. I'm gonna go back up there and work on my eyesight. I ain't stopping until I can spot those cute chicks from miles and miles away. You probably have a million kinds of bird STDs. I'm just saying. Like, you're that dude that's the same. It's like, yeah, oh, man, I get it every night. And then goes home crying with uh, hand lotion and their laptop. So can I push you out of the way? Strange texture. My fingers feel tingly. Mm. Oh my god! What are you? I don't understand what you're saying. Can you try to open your mouth a bit? Impossible? Okay. Okay, there's gotta be some way to help you talk. By the way, can you help me get up there? Into the castle? I don't know any magic, sorry. 
but I'll try to find a way to soften you up. Thank you. Uh, what do we have? No, no, no. A soft purple moisturizing flower. Well, I'm guessing that has something to do with the new things we got. I got a few of these ripe and sticky berries, but I don't want to carry them with me for much longer. The juice is coloring my pants. Hmm. Ah! Eww! No, we're <laughs> not gonna sit here. And I am. Um, I'm gonna rub. There. Do you feel better? Soft, soft, softer. Yes. Unfortunately, I don't think the salve will be effective for very long. I may provide the way. Lorhan, I'm a sailor, and you've got to help me get out of here. I don't think I can stand it much longer. What happened to you? <sighs> that blasted, blasted alchemist cast a spell on me, turned me to solid rock. Then he put me here, to be gatekeeper and anchor for his blasted castle. That was near six full moons past now. You've been here for half a year? Curse the balance. We say it like that. It is an age. My wife is sure to have taken someone else's bed by now. Blasted magic. The vanguard were right. My wife's probably sleeping with someone else. Damn it. What do you mean the vanguard were right? That we've been at the mercy of the balance for too long. It's time to make some changes. Put the control back into the hands of the people. How would that have helped you? Well, for one, there wouldn't be any rogue magicians like this Roper Clax running about causing trouble. Do you not agree? I'm not about to argue politics with you right now, Lorhan. I'm in a hurry. Who's arguing? And blasted be my rocky hide. Get me out of here. How can I help you? It ain't just me, April. There are dozens of men up there. Servants and sailors and merchants and soldiers. All sent here by their masters to deal with Roper Clacks. <laughs> Curse it be the balance. We've all been turned to stone. And our souls trapped in a crystal that the madman keeps in his tower. He draws power from that. Power that shouldn't be his by right. But this blasted problem of the balance has upset the natural order of things. If the Vanguard were in control, this would never have happened. Things would be like they used to be a long time ago. Everything was good then? Oh sure, there were problems, but this rift, it ain't natural. Science and magic belong together, in the hands of the people. Not to some naked guardian fellow on a tower somewhere far away. Listen, we've got more important things to think about, like how I'm going to get inside the mountain, beat this clack sky, and free your soul. Yeah, 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 you're right. And I can feel my muscles turning to stone again. We must hurry. How do I get inside the mountain? I'll pull the stairs down for you. Usually when Clax comes and goes, he softens me up for a bit, just so I can raise and lower the stairs for him, and then he changes me back to solid rock again. Once you're inside, and if you manage to defeat the madman, and I don't see how you're gonna do that, a young woman like yourself. I'm pretty resourceful, and I'm not your run-of-the-mill teeny bopper either. You're what? Anyways, if you defeat Clax, you must find his study and break the crystal, the soul stone. That should break the spell and give us back our flesh and bone bodies. Sounds like a plan. All right, here goes. Watch your head, April. Then how do I get back? Because if you turn human, which you look like an alien, if you turn human, you're I you're gonna let go of that thing and how do I get back what in the oh, great I so love these things jump jump into the abyss no thank you who is that wait don't tell me evil wizard they all sound like Richard the third on crack bah! So, we have hourglass, we have a gargoyle. We have more gargoyles. He's got his hand out like he's begging. A parchment up there. Alright, there's another door up there. We got things everywhere. Okay, so. 
We need to figure out how to go. Okay, so if he's begging, what do we have? Well, we do have some coins. Hello. So we have flaming hands. Uh, oh, guy. His hands on fire. Well, this, this isn't that complicated so far. He's got his hand out like he's begging. So what's that? Can't do anything there. Can we still give him some more coins? And we can. <laughs> what? What are these salt and pepper shakers? Oh, and he's on fire again. That's that's awesome. Would that mean that those are really hot? Because that would have to mean that they... That's the weird salt shaker. Salt shaker. Salt. It's a salt. That's all it is. It's salt. That stupid inventory. There we go. Pepper. Well, okay. I thought you'd have one of those like weird colorful descriptions like you usually do. Um Okay. I can't I can't do anything over there. Uh, I can't do that. Um That gargoyle's holding a large hourglass. Well, okay, let's flip it, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. Holy! <laughs> okay. As soon as I could click, go, 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 go. I was right there. Come on, man. like the only thing we can do so maybe I gotta figure out a way to I just run down the stairs hurry aha Holy crap, dude. Do you need to chill? Like, for serious. It's a stone door. There's a mirror. Ready to give up. It's a mirror door. I look different in that mirror. It's a rolled up parchment. Well, let's see what we got. Whoa. Uh, Talk about hissy fit. Evil Mirror Universe April sure got some anger stored up. Guess she doesn't want me to get that parchment. I mean, you can tell kind of from the demon eyes and the uh uh, something tells me not to go into the mist. Uh, I don't really have a choice. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Can I do 
use the door? Can I get through? Who's knocking? So someone's knocking on the door. Oh, well, okay, I knock, I get hourglass. So the question is, what does this hourglass do? Let's see what it changes. Ah, all right, so. Dude, I mean, really, the, the evil the evilness needs to stop. Here we go, go, run. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. I can already uh, tell, I can already tell I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> Use the hourglass again. There we go. Got this. Run across. Yay! Okay. Stop with the evil giggling! Uh, what? I didn't do anything. That's a gargoyle. That just looks like a door with a face. That's one stony face. That's one stony face. Uh huh. Anything else you can tell me? Do I... Oh wait, we only have we only have one coin. We had a stack of coins. We only have one left. Do you want some candy? No. Um. Want some salt? Nope. How about some pepper? No, you want some pepper? You really? You want pepper. Hell's bell. <laughs> that was hilarity. Ooh, that's a big ass fireplace. Say whatever you want about Roper Clax. He certainly knows how to keep a big fire. Oh, wait. Are those human bones down there? Less impressed. <laughs> Evil alchemist or not, at least he's made some effort to make the place look good. I mean, you can't not have a good looking area. You know what I mean? Evil alchemist or not, at least he's made nope. some effort to make the big, certainly. But I can't see anything through it. It's like there's a thick fog outside obscuring everything. Well, that's no good. That's just no good. Um, I guess we're gonna go to the tower. Finally! <laughs> I was beginning to think you would never make it through my labyrinth. Welcome to my humble home. Do you like it? I had it built according to my own specifications by the most skilled architects of Arcadia. Uh huh. They have since become a permanent and quite attractive fixture of their own building, of course. Uh huh. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Oh, but I forget my manners. I am, as I am sure you already know, Roboclux! And you would be? Um. Pleased to meet you, sir. Um. You know, let's let's be uh, let's be a little hospitable, a little bit hospitable. Enunciate my words. April Ryan, pleased to meet you, sir. Oh. But the kitten has manners. How precious. How very precious. I am tempted to not turn you into stone. You would make a spirited wife and mother to my demonic children. No, thank but you. No. 
It will be more fun to destroy you. Um. Yeah, why'd you trap the wind? Because I kind of need it. Why did you trap the wind? Why does the wolf eat the sheep? I don't think you answered my question. Because I can, little girl. Because I can. And because of who I am. Because I am hungry. And because the time is right. It, you're crazy, I is what you're saying. I think you did it because you're insecure and you have to show off your petty magic to the world. Shut your pretty little mouth. I will devour you. I will... <clears throat> but we must not lose our self-control. He's been going to must meetings for this no, stuff. No, we must... Not. Why did you turn those people into stone? Why does the wolf eat questions, the sheep? Questions, oh. questions, questions. I do not need to explain myself to you, little bastard child. You are not nice. Do you know who your parents are? No, of course not. Too stupid. Wait, do you play League? What? What do you know about my parents? Suffer the little children. Oh, how I love that phrase. It is my life's philosophy. I like suffering, especially the suffering of innocent children. Their screams are so pretty, their tears so salty. Oh, he definitely plays You're League. You're a real shit, Clax. I know you are, but what am I? Who's <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm rubber, your glue. <laughs> Uh, I guess we're gonna defeat him. Prepare to be defeated. Prepare to be defeated. Ha! Clichés! Is that the best you can do? I mean, yeah. Watch me. Yes. And you plan to do what? Witness the men who came before you with their weapons and their magic. Look what happened to them. Turn to stone. Each and every one of them for all eternity. I even own their souls now, and they will feed me and keep me strong for as long as I need them. How original. Been reading a lot of fairy tales lately, have we? Oh, bow. Oh, how precious. <laughs> See? I could scour your flesh off your bones in a second, little girl. Now. Do you think you could defeat me? Maybe. Um. Yeah, how about a proper challenge? How about a proper challenge? A proper... <clears throat> what, what do you mean by a proper challenge? I can't defeat you with magic. I'm not a wizard. Wizards? Frauds! The lot of them! The only real magic is the magic of hell. But of course, you cannot defeat me with magic. That is why I will win. What's so great about beating me with magic? That's not a challenge. That's a walkover. If we even the odds out a bit, you'll have more fun and satisfaction from turning me into stone later. You are trying to trick me. I know that. But you <laughs> intrigue me, little girl. Go on, then. Issue a challenge worthy of my powers. I know you're trying to trick me, but... Meh. Why not? It's Roper Clax, your basic evil wizard and bad dresser. Oh, yeah, he just has the worst... Worst wardrobe. So what do we have that can be... Used as a... Oh, no, stop it. It's a map. Let's see. Here! Do you know anything about the map? No, he doesn't. He doesn't know anything. Um. Uh. Do we call. No. Do we call him? I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Okay, so it's no crow. Crow's not the answer. But he would. He would honestly just fly into the window and do here thud as he's sliding down. So I mean, I mean it's it's perfectly. Um, here, <laughs> do some addition for me. 
What? What? Oh God! What? I okay. challenge you to a contest of simple arithmetic using only this petty little device against your supreme intellectual powers. Give me your best shot, but after this, I will take your soul and trap you in stone for all eternity. Sounds good to me. Okay, here's one. 49 times 11. 49 times 11 what? Numbers. Okay, think of apples and oranges. 49 apples times 11 oranges. 49 times... <laughs> Let's see. Carry the one over the five. What to do with that file? <clears throat> no, forget that one. So that leaves us with... Nine! Aha! <laughs> Wrong. It's 539. That was an easy one, Clax. Is that the best you can do? Uh, two out of three. I wasn't good at math. I'll give you an easier one this time. 603 divided by three. Ooh, you underestimate my powers, little girl. 5,867.2.3. Aha! They have two decimal Way points there, Arcadia. Off, buddy. It's 201. Sorry, you lose. Give me that thing. Ooh. This is intriguing. This really is. What does this do? Oh. What? <laughs> it's a calculator, dude. <laughs> what in the even is going on? Now you really don't want me to uh, save your life, but you're gonna be hanging from there forever, dude. And I always thought math was such a waste of time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> he got calculated. <laughs> Well, will we be able to save everybody? What's going to happen? Even I don't know, friends. But next time, we will figure it out. Till then, y'all take care. And of course, have a good one.